sport management program at Wayne State College held a WSC volleyball blackout event this year for the Wayne State College versus University of Nebraska Kearney volleyball game. The event was put on by PED 411 Sport Marketing and Promotions class with the goal of breaking the single game attendance record at a Wayne State volleyball game. Among the many items to attract students and fans were hot dogs. Drew and Brett Shiley were the grill masters of the WSC volleyball blackout event as the two brothers cooked hot dogs for the students and fans alike before the game. The hot dogs were graciously donated by Wimmers and bought locally from Pack and Save. There were the hot dogs in the condiments for students and fans to make their hot dog tasty. Among the many people involved in putting this WSC volleyball blackout event on, our sport management student Justin Valhamus left and sport management instructor Cam Geisert right. Over here to the left is the pop, which is graciously donated by the Corner Mart in Wakefield. Jeff Meyer is working hard here as he is getting out more hot dog buns for the many anticipated students and fans who will enjoy the free hot dogs and pop. One can now start to see the benefits of the WSC Volleyball Blackout event reaped as more and more fans are being attracted to the volleyball game by free food and pop. Again, Grill Masters Drew and Brett Shively did an outstanding job all night as the two are seen here handing out the free hot dogs to the students and fans. Now the WSC Volleyball Blackout event appears to be in full swing as students are starting to pack the house in anticipation of the WSC Volleyball Blackout event. As one can see, the game was quite the atmosphere. The students are getting fired up at the start of the contest. Among the many advertising and promotional tactics of the WSC Volleyball Blackout event were the Kill and Ace signs sponsored by the Max and the Wayne Herald. 500 of these signs were handed out. Students now are getting all riled up as the Wildcats are about to take set one from the Lopers of UNK. One of the more lucrative draws for Wayne State College students to attend the WSC Volleyball Blackout event was the giveaway of two flat screen televisions. One of the TVs was 32 inches, the other a 19 incher. The televisions were bought at cost from the local Papina store in Wayne by Sports Club with the financial assistance of Wayne State College Student Services. The winner of the 32-inch television was Blake Koff, and the winner of the 19-inch television was Eric Dye. Students and fans are jacked up as the Wildcats win set three to take a 2-1 lead on UNK. Wayne State prevails in the end, winning the match three sets to two as students rush the playing floor. The match set the all-time single-game attendance record at a WSC volleyball game. The total attendance mark for the WSC Volleyball Blackout event was 1,536, breaking the previous record of 1,382 set in 2006. Jeff Meyer instructs his PED 411 Sport Marketing and Promotions class on the finer points of their marketing plans that are to be presented at the end of the semester. Meyer's marketing plans are very helpful and help prepare students for the types of situations students may face in an internship. Meyer stresses outstanding marketing plans and will revise every group's plan until the plan is done to his liking. This is done for the student's benefit. Cam Geiser instructs his Sport and American Culture class, informing the class of an upcoming test, explaining to the class what will be on the test, and informing the students of where to find the review sheet for the test. Cam also asks if anyone has any articles to present to the class. One of the grades in the class is to find three articles pertaining to something discussed in class and present each article to the class. Chad Moss instructs his class, informing students of the group interviews the class has due soon. Chad explains what the students must do in preparing for their group interviews and gives students hints and ideas on how to do the interview itself. The students are expected to perform the best of their abilities on those interviews, and Chad expects nothing but outstanding work from the students. Every student that comes through the sport management program at Wayne State College is required to do an internship after the successful completion of all coursework. The internship accounts for 12 credit hours, and students must complete 600 hours at their selected internship site. The students must intern for at least 16 weeks regardless of how many hours are complete before the 16-week period. If the student does not complete 600 hours in the 16-week period, the students must continue to intern at the selected internship site until the 600 hours are completed. Here are some contact cards which are posted on a billboard across from the sport management instructor's office at Rice. There are numerous contact cards from which to choose from. Some of these more nationally located cards include Youngstown State University, Texas Tech University, Rice University, Bradley University, the University of Stanford, 
the University of Miami at Florida, or even the NBA's Miami Heat and Phoenix Suns, the WNBA's Phoenix Mercury, Major League Baseball's Cincinnati Reds and Minnesota Twins, the NHL's Phoenix Coyotes. The American Volleyball Coaches Association, the ABCA, is another great contact that works well with Wayne State College. Students have gone to work for the ABCA at the NCAA Volleyball Final Four. Experience in working with the ABCA looks great on a resume. The Cox Classic is another outstanding golf event that has helped many Wayne State sport management students on their way to their dream job. And for those who want to stay more local for their internship, there are contact cards representing the University of South Dakota, the University of Iowa, Colorado University, the University of Nebraska-Lincoln, Iowa State University, the Omaha Beef, and the Sioux Falls Sky Force. There are even internship opportunities at Shields All Sports with locations in Sioux City, Lincoln, and Omaha. Jeff Meyer helps give students insight and an overall perspective into what the whole internship process involves and what it is all about. All right. I am here with sport management instructor Jeff Meyer and this is an interview about the internship program here at Wayne State College involving the sport management program. And Jeff, the first question I have for you is what can you tell a prospective sport management major about the internship program in terms of how it will help them find a job working in sport? Well, Jeff, the, the sport management internship program is a capstone, and what that means is that at the conclusion upon all of the academic work, uh, our student within the field of sport management will complete an internship. And the internship will either be within the basis of the business of professional sport or intercollegiate athletics. This is a minimum of a 15 to 16 week program with a minimum of 600 hours. And what it allows the student is an actual hands-on application of what he or she has learned uh, throughout our major and uh, we encourage our students to choose an internship that would uh, complement them with an opportunity to best learn in the field of sport of where they would choose to be either as a full-time employment or the best opportunities they can earn. Okay, and so with that, can you talk a little bit about the kinds of jobs um, and salary types sport management majors have gotten after doing their respective internships, you know, students that have done them in the past? We have been very fortunate with the connections that we have made within the field of sports for job opportunities. First, we work uh, directly with the alumni throughout the country and, and those that, that, are, uh, that, are, that are alumni within our program, uh, such as the Cox Classic, we have worked directly with their tournament director. Uh, we have worked with uh, the marketing department at Creighton University and uh, on a professional level we have worked with the Phoenix Coyotes. Uh, the opportunities that are out there, uh, as long as the student is, is, is not afraid to relocate around the country, uh, provide uh, many, many opportunities for jobs within sport. Uh, salaries can range upwards of 75000 as we had a young lady uh, who had completed a minor with us in sport management and worked for the ticket office for the Minnesota Twins. Um, currently, we do have a student that is making six figures uh, within sport uh, on a different type of venue, but uh, salaries can range from entry level, uh, 15, 18, 19,000, uh, to, uh, to an associate athletic director pay that uh, where one of our grad students is today that I think is approaching $100,000. <coughs> All right, and you know, what advice do you have for students who are trying to land an internship uh, once they are nearing the completion of course where of course there's a lot of things they can do such as email, prospective locations and such? The students within our program of sport management are uh, encouraged greatly uh, to network during their uh, uh, degree completion at Wayne State College and within the department itself many opportunities are provided for students to network such as uh, we can work uh, the NCAA cross-country championships, the regional cross-country chips, 
we uh, we also do uh, the uh, concession stand for Wayne State Athletics baseball and softball. Uh, we provide speaker opportunities. Uh, we do site visits. So opportunities for students arise and maintain during their uh, actual degree. What we encourage the students, some internships are paid, Jeff, and uh, that is not a, a determining factor for an internship. What we want within our department is the best possible internship opportunity for our students, whether it's paid or not paid. Being paid is just a bonus when it's all said and done. The opportunities that exist out there uh, we ask our students to first pursue them themselves upon meeting with their advisor so that, their advi the, so that the advisor is aware of what the student is doing. But uh, ultimately, the internship opportunity falls upon the student and the advisor uh, is there to assist the student with any needs that they have in completion, paperwork opportunity, and, and actual uh, signing off on that uh, internship for acceptance. Okay, and now how beneficial are connections with certain, certain in, internship sites when students are trying to pursue these internships? I mean, isn't it true that it's all about the connections? Jeff, I've got to agree with you. The, the connections uh, upon the opportunities for our students in sport management are, are, are vast. Uh, outside of the uh, office in the sport management hallway, we have a number of business cards where our students have worked for those people within the field of sports and they have opened up their arms and their offices and their opportunities for Wayne State students. Uh, University of South Dakota, University of Nebraska, University of Wyoming on an intercollegiate level, professional sports, Indiana Pacers, the Lincoln Salt Dogs, the Sioux Falls Canaries, uh, the Phoenix uh, Coyotes, uh, to name a few. We've also had students that have earned uh, World Series championship rings with the St. Louis Cardinals and uh, the Chicago White Sox. Uh, the students during their four or five, ten, four or five year tenure with Wayne State and sport management uh, provides many opportunities, Jeff, for the students to succeed within this business. It's highly competitive, but we feel through the preparation and through networking uh, the electronics that are available to our students, uh, the media uh, opportunities. Uh, we feel that our students are best prepared to compete for any opportunity for jobs for any program throughout the country. Okay, and the last question I have here. You know, so when a student actually starts their internship after completion of all coursework, what are some tips and advice you might have for students about how to go and performing the internship itself? That's a great question, Jeff. Uh, we ask our students to maintain uh, that sense of professionalism. You are working directly within a business side of sport, either professionally or intercollegiately, and our students are asked to work hard for those folks. If they're not sure of a, of a direction of what's being asked for them to do, to ask because it is a learning opportunity. Uh, we ask our students to stay in constant contact uh, with the sport management department at Wayne State College and uh, the department of HHPS as we are here to assist them if, if concerns or needs do arise. We ask our students to, be, to represent Wayne State College in a professional manner so that these internships can be uh, uh, continued in years to come. And finally, Jeff, with, with the internship, internship opportunities provided to our students, it is a positive work environment that our students can compete with anyone across the country with the curriculum that's provided for our students on a positive and exciting opportunity. Uh, the, 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 the doors are wide open, the field is wide open, and through, con through continued success of our internship opportunities, the Wayne State Sport Management Field will continue to grow. Thanks, Jeff Extell. And thank you, Jeff Meyer. Again, that was Jeff Meyer, instructor of sport management here at Wayne State College. All of these features and benefits of coming to Wayne State College and majoring in sport management are just a mere image of what you as a student will learn and experience in your time at Wayne State. 
Many students before you have come through the program and now have very successful jobs working in sports, doing what they love. So, can you see yourself in the sport management program at Wayne State College? 